good day. Good day to you too, Mrs. Eek. How have you been? Better, all things considered. I note you have not denounced me, yet. Thomas wanted you safe. I've no reason to deny him that. Then perhaps there is something you could help me with. I've had enough. I want out. But if I am to disappear, the King must believe me exposed. Pennington must write London to inform on me. Paris will soon hear it. Pennington cannot know the truth. So I have written the letter myself. I need only the captain's seal. Better the brave spy escaping the clutches of perfidious Albion than a deserter who abandoned her mission. My thoughts exactly. Give me the letter. I'll see what can be done with the bold captain's seal. I'll take my leave, Mrs. Haig. Yes, do that. Not right under his nose, Red. Come on. Report. Where's Priest? Yeah, I'm working on it. You'll know when I do. The longer you dally, the more time she has to prepare a revolt. All right then, Captain. I'll see what I can do about Helen Priest. She was billeted in the armory. That McGrip. Not right under his nose, Red. Come on.
Someone left in a hurry. Someone wasn't leaving without a gun. No spectral stains. No mouse did that. I'm just panning to not know about this. His head's up his ass, that's how. Either we have a giant rabbit, or this is where she went. Giant rabbit? There's a thought. In her haste, she dropped something. In her haste, she dropped something. Helen could draw. These are fantastic. But where is she? Maybe we should start at her quarters. One time in a prison in Paris, I banished the rotten corpse of a bishop. <laughs> this is gonna be good. There was a growling in the dungeon, so... Down I went, alone. Empty cell, door locked, no pick. No idea how he got out, but he did. Turns out the bishop was possessed by a tyrant. Killed all the prisoners, was planning a rebellion. A riot of the dead. I've no idea why he was there, and at the end, neither did he, but it took me three days to clear the building. 
Oh la la. I'm right. I have another in sight. One less to worry about. I maim the corrupted heart. You aim at its roots. Join the target practice. Like you need it.
Ah, the cabin from Helen's drawings. This is the place. What are you doing here? I had a feeling we'd be crossing paths again. If Pennington sent you, you may run along. I have nothing to say to any of you. I'm curious. How did you escape without being noticed? I know Fort Jericho better than anyone. It has many ins and outs. If Pennington hadn't had his head up his own arse, he'd have known not to put me in those cells. <laughs> That's what I said. Did you have help? I still have friends in the fort. And if you think I'm going to tell you more than that, then you really are mistaken about my character. You weren't easy to find. Why here in particular? I was with child when the first plague came. I gave birth surrounded by the dead and dying. My son never had a chance. I wished to bury him away from the mines, away from the garrison. Somewhere his and his alone. I brought him here. I left him here. And I nearly did not make it back. That's a lot of loss for one person. I am sorry. Yeah, well, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Sebastian's husk vanished. It must have been hard to lose him all over again. How are you bedding up? My days are quiet. Some are better than others. At times, I am grateful for the memories. At others, they feel like fingers clamped upon my throat. I'm still learning to live around my grief. I wish I could tell you that time heals all, but I'm still learning too. Maybe it doesn't. One day, it will be safe to remember. In this, I trust. Count your blessings in the moment. 
for both are fleeting. What are you doing up here? Did Pennington send you? Yes or no? He sent me, yes, and did not shy away from hinting that he'd rather see you dead than alive. Then what are you waiting for? That's not why we're here. Well, then you may leave. I am done with Pennington, Fort Jericho, and all in it. What's the plan? You can't mean to stay here forever. I could. But no. When I'm ready, and the road is open, I'll leave for Boston and begin anew. For most of my life, death has walked with me. But to see how you banishers walk proud beside it, well, it's as if you dance along the road with death. That leads me to wonder. Perhaps it's time I embraced my gift and put it to good use. Perhaps I too may dance along with death. Have you always been sensitive to the invisible? I suppose I have. As a child, we'd play secret games in which we'd summon spirits, as you do. For me, though, sometimes they came. I remember, for weeks after my grandmother passed, I'd see her sitting at the foot of my bed. My father ascribed it to a wild imagination. He would not indulge it. You weren't imagining it. You have talent. Match it to your prowess in the fight, and you'd make a fine banisher. I was hoping to find someone to guide me on that path. It's a hard life. Dangerous. Lots of death. Anger, resentment. Grief. Well, then, I've been training for it for years. Be warned, child's play it is not. There's a lot more to it than clubbing spectres. Show me. Show me a real foe with a real banisher fight. Teach me. I'd happily be your teacher, but recent events mean I no longer qualify. Looks like you got yourself a new apprentice, Red. All right, I'll step up. Till you find someone better, mind. Let's show Helen how banishers fight. First of all, keep in mind that fighting spectres is rarely easy. They can be tricky. <laughs> Caution is always advised, but you're in good hands. I know a cave where we might find a fight. Follow me. Antea, how did you become a banisher? My mother was a healer. She had the gift. Taught me all she knew. But I was different. I had a gift for ghosts. At 15, I set off to develop it. I knew no one and had nothing. But my teachers saw my yearning for knowledge and took me on. And here I am. Quite the adventure. We're almost there. This is the place. Good instincts. This cave is badly stained. Time to dig. We use runes and words of power to make spirits manifest. Do you pluck them from thin air with your magic rings? It's more that we will them to come to us. The rings help channel the power. Turn out and turn up! Hugging all the fun. Take on a ghost! I 
That's how a fight goes. Most of the time. Except when your partner drops his sword, or loses the tie. Fairy stories. Neither of those entirely plausible things has ever happened. You fight well, Vanishes. As do you. If I didn't, I'd be dead. If you're truly serious about becoming a Vanisher, I may have a contact in Boston who could help. Her name is Elizabeth Gray. You should find her, if she wants to be found, at the Green Dragon, not half a mile from the wharf. Tell her I sent you. When you meet her, please tell her Tell her she is now the best female banisher in the land. She's interesting. I'd do some reading if I were you. Might help me make a good impression. Here, this book served me well. It'll serve you too. I shall treasure it. Thank you. Thank you both so much. Take care, Helen. Any last advice for a young-ish apprentice before you go? Love life. Even when you lack the stomach for it. Perhaps we'll meet again. God willing, we shall. Back to Pennington to give him the news of Helen's... passing. It's such a good lie, it's almost true. Elizabeth still in Boston? You know Elizabeth. She loves a bit of culture. 
I'm told Boston has many taverns. I'd assume she was dead. Most people assume she's dead. She likes it that way. She and Helen are talking cheddar. Yep. They're gonna have so much fun. If we want to stop for a wee minute, this place will do. Report. Where's Priest? From one soldier to another, and I'll not put it in writing, but Helen Priest shall pose you no more problems. My word. Such terrible tidings. Thank you. Not your affair, of course, unless so am I. From one soldier to another, and I'll not put it in writing, but I'll not mind if the purse on my desk goes missing while my back is turned. How are you doing, sir? How am I doing? How am I doing? It is strange. Helen Priest's pricking thorn is plucked. The, the rage abates. The troop rebuilds. And yet, though the danger is past, I feel it present. 
I see things in the shadows. An unexpected noise may startle me, but that's not the worst. The worst is I miss it. I miss the simplicity of inescapable doom. The darkness calls me back. It is the strangest thing. Nothing strange about it, Captain. In time, it fades. There will always be moments you hear the call. Just be sure not to answer it. Well, Captain, in case I don't see you, may I bid you farewell? You may, and why not? I'll not say it has been a pleasure, Red McGrath, not all of it, leastways. May I ask where you're going? I thought I'd go back to New Eden Town and end the curse. Really? You're going back? Aye, sir. I am. We're going back there, Captain, to clean up your mess. Odd way to make money, but I'll take it. Pennant's free, Pennington is happy for Pennington, and soon there'll be a new banisher. Everyone wins. Not right under his nose, Red. Come on. Signed and sealed. We can tell Prudence she's free. Good day. Good day to you too, Mrs. Ake. Pennington's seal is on the letter. So, I'm free. Thank you, sir. What will you do now? Whatever God has planned for me. I'll take my leave, Mrs. Ake. Yes, do that. What do you want? How are you, Daniel? My sister is gone. For the first time, I'm alone in the world. And I feel it. But still, I'm doing two people's work now. So there's no time for the sons. No strength for them, neither. <laughs> Please listen to me complaining, eh? When you've done nothing but help me. I tell you what. As a token of my ever-undying gratitude, how's about I sell you my half of the map? Generous, even in his grief. I may be interested. I'll give you a good price. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Goodbye.
The map says the treasure is close. Now this place looks like the drawings on the map. The treasure must be hidden nearby. What the hell is this place? This is no cave. It's a tomb. Well, that was unexpected. You never know. One man's trash. It's usually another man's trash. Thank you. 